This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 109 of building kit from Knight Rider from Fan Home from the TV show Knight Rider. Uh, yes, let's have a look. Night of the Rising Sun, the penultimate episode, uh, twenty-one of twenty-four of season four. Uh, I, again, for some reason, season four has gone completely past me. I've got no memories of it at all. But uh, if you want to refresh your own, then read all the words by all means. Um, there we go. That's that. Uh, so yes, in this issue, we're going to be finishing off the chassis build. We're putting the bits in that we've already done. I like the I like the ones where things come together. Uh, we've got the interior wheel arches, uh, but we're going to be fitting the rear end onto there, putting it all together, and then fitting the rear covers over there, and then that will be ready to be attached next time. Uh, let's have a look. Convertible mode. I, I don't know. Was that a thing? Or obviously, it was a thing, but I don't see how that had happened. After having built it, I've got no idea how that could happen, but uh, I'm sure it did at least one episode. So, uh, right, uh, let's clear this out of the way. Let's bring in the whole thing and see what we got. So, the parts required today, uh, we get some new bits, the interior uh, wheel arch things, but we're not using them immediately. First of all, we're going to be using some of the bits we've been building up before the rear bumper and rear light assembly. Uh, so, light assembly first. We've got the cover and the main thing. That just goes over it like so. And then that needs to fit onto the rear. As you can imagine, uh, it goes on there and in there a bit like that. There's five screws to hold it in place, two on either end and one in the middle at the top there. So it goes about there like that, uh, obviously making sure these wires come through to where the others are. Uh, and this then goes over the top. And the screws go through that to hold it all in place. Uh, now that I can't do on camera because I can't see the screws from where I'm sitting now. So I'll need to move things around to get to see where I'm going to put those in. But basically the five screws will go in place and hold that together like so. Uh, and then we'll see about getting the, the bumper in place. But let me get this screwed on first and go from there. So there we have it in place. Five screws holding that together. The wires coming out the side there as intended and uh, next up we've just got the bumper to put on which has got its own wire obviously coming out the side there uh, and this goes on just underneath there like oh, just like that actually that fits in there quite well um, and obviously you can still rotate I, th I think that's I don't know I wouldn't have bothered putting in the rotating bit uh, but that's held in place with two BP screws at either end that need to come through there, obviously making sure this wire also comes through into the middle bit. So uh, let me see, I might be able to get these on while I'm here. I did get the screws out, but I can't, can't see them now. I moved them. There you go. So let's try one of these in there. I don't think this is going to work. I think I'm going to need to, no, I'm going to need to get a different angle for that. Uh, so I'll get those in place and then that's pretty much the end I think so we'll get it on and we'll see how it looks so bumper in place lights in place soon we get to test them again and make sure they work but first of all we got to finish off by fitting these two um wheel arches uh which simply go in like that well that one's simple uh the other one is probably less simple because I've got all the wires to worry about where they're gonna go but it's uh, I don't know it should still be fairly easy they're going to go in a bit like that I need to manipulate these to get them not stuck in the edge there but they want to be accessible um so let me get those screwed in place and then we'll be done for this episode but I'll show you what it looks like when they're in the right place 
And there we are. Uh, the wheel arch is now in place, ready. If I can find the screw that I lost a minute ago. There it goes. Uh, ready to be fitted next time. A uh, couple of little bits to tidy out the seatbelts and stuff. But then uh, we get to finally put this onto the bottom whole chassis assembly and plug it all in and make sure it all still works, which I'm looking forward to immensely. Uh, if you're also looking forward to that, then join me in a couple of days when that should be happening. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Look at the end. Look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it from the back. Look, it's got back. It's got lights and stuff and things. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. <laughs>